Yo, what is good YouTube? I'm Rich Kim, and today I'm going to be bringing you all the performance review on the Adidas Harden BE3. Before we get started, if you all enjoy sneaker content just like this, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below. But anyways, let's get right into it. As always, starting off with the traction, the Harden BE3 features a traditional herringbone traction pattern for the most part. It does have like this big divot that runs throughout the middle of the shoe. Not really sure why it's there. Maybe it's for like flexibility or something. But the traction is at least I'm gonna say it's consistent because you do come to a stop, but you kind of like slide very little bit to a stop. So I wouldn't say it's like stop on a dime. It's more like stop on a half dollar like coin. It is consistent, but you do just slide to a stop rather than just stopping on the dime. That does get a little bit annoying, but at least it's consistent. So yeah, even though Adidas has been using this herringbone traction pattern across a lot of their recent like basketball shoes, Traction has really just been hit or miss. And you know, recently, at least the shoes that I've been testing so far have pretty much all been like, kind of like this. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with Adidas right now, but their traction just, they need to stop at the traction game because this just isn't gonna cut it. But I'm gonna give them kudos because at least it's consistent. But yeah, you just don't stop on a dime. The traction could have been a lot better. So moving on to the cushion, this does feature full length bounce and bounce is a very underrated cushion from Adidas. I love bounce. It gives you a good blend of core feel responsiveness and that impact protection. And let me tell you that this does just that like in the heel, you do have a very light bounce. And then up in the forefoot, you do have a thinner bounce cushion. So you get more of that core feel and responsiveness, but you don't sacrifice too much impact protection. Bounce is a good middle ground between impact protection and core feel and responsiveness. So cushion bounce, you know, awesome. Like I love bounce and it's implemented really well in this shoe. So moving on to the materials, the Harden BE3 features a pretty much like full mesh upper. So what you guys see here is a textile shroud that covers the like mesh underneath. And then as you move towards the back, it is a foam back mesh. And you know, the materials, you, like they do the job well, like don't get me wrong. I'm personally not a big fan of the shroud on this shoe in particular, but hey, you know, it is there for a reason. I do think it does offer a little extra containment. You do also have like this elastic band right here. Uh, I'm not really sure why it's there, honestly, but it is there. One thing to mention about the materials is on the lateral side of the heel, you actually do have like this full Velcro material. So it's not the harder part of the Velcro, but it's like the softer side that the Velcro attaches to, just so you can like customize where you want to put the strap. But yeah, you know, for materials, I don't really have any complaints except for just like the use of the shroud on the shoe. So moving on to the fit, I'd say going down half size is the way to go. If you guys are slightly wide footers to hella wide footers, I still think you should be okay in the shoe. I'm a slightly wide footer and I was perfectly fine going down a half size. The materials do actually lay pretty nicely over your foot. I wouldn't say this gives you a completely one-to-one -one fit, but it does feel very nice. One other thing to know about the fit is that this is like a burrito style fit and it's a little bit annoying to put on the shoe just because you have like the strap getting in the way of that burrito fit as well. So it's just a little bit annoying, but it does do the job very well. You also do have like Achilles pillows in the heel area just to make sure that you guys are locked into the shoe and it just makes the overall fit more comfortable. So moving on to the support, before testing the shoe, I thought I was gonna have a lot of support issues in the shoe just because of the materials that they decided to use on here, but the support is actually really nice. You do have this well sculpted heel area with Achilles pillows that just makes sure that your heel's locked in and combine that with the strap and your foot really isn't going anywhere. Up in the forefoot, I didn't have any side to side movement on the footbed. And you know, that was really shocking because I would say that the materials aren't the most like supportive feeling, at least in hand, but on foot, the thing does a really good job of just making sure your foot doesn't slide off the footbed. On those lateral movements, I didn't have any like instability issues, which is also really nice. I kind of attribute that to the way that they structured the outsole. You do have a fairly wide base with somewhat of an outrigger that the bounce cushion forms. But yeah, you know, supporting the shoe is actually surprisingly good. So the Harden BE3 retails for hundred bucks and for hundred bucks, you know, I'd say it's a decent budget shoe. Um, they're definitely a lot better performers out there around in that price range. So I wouldn't really recommend these um, just because of the traction. Like the traction, although it is consistent, you know, you just don't stop on a dime. And I really, really need that in a shoe. So traction just wasn't up to par for me personally. Everything else was perfectly fine. You know, I really do like 
the way that they implemented the bounce in the shoe, it's a perfect blend of that impact protection and core feel and responsiveness that I was talking about earlier. So yeah, you know, if they just fix the traction on the shoe, I would say go for it. But because of that traction, I can't really recommend the shoe. But if you all were interested in getting a pair, do let me know how it performs in the comments down below. If you guys are experiencing the same problems with the traction that I am, but yeah, you know, that's my personal recommendation. I would not get these, at least right now. That's pretty much it for this performance review. If you all like this video, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below. Also smash that thumbs up button for me as it really does help me out. While you guys are at it, check out this video on my left and on my right, and that's pretty much it. Until next time, peace.